All right, continuing on the adventure of uh, in Freeport here. I'm a uh, I'm founding Freeport. This is this was all built on a personal claim. You know, I didn't have a monument. I wanted to be able to do everything. And uh, in the last video, I talked about how there is a trap under here. You can see the thing. Here's the you know the you know it's in here, but it's bugged. That bark box bugged the trap, so I can't remove this bark box. Okay. Somewhere something is 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 holding it, so that's good to know. Um, I'll have to probably destroy this uh, forge, so when it breaks, I'll have a, an animal. I just cut down this tree that grew up around. There was an oak here. Remember in the last video, I was like, ah, it's really annoying. This oak is up on my my stack of wood. Now you're probably wondering, why the heck do I have a stack of wood here? Well, I'll get to that later. But that oak there also needs to go. I'm trying to clear out so I have a clearer view and I can be in third person. So um, if you are building on a, your own, uh, what I call this is a compound, right? Make sure that you don't place oaks right up in front or they will motivate you to cut them down. So let's see if there's another snare under here. So I would like to flatten this out and put another 100 soil on here and slowly build this out um, as I remove the different things that are uh, stopping me from doing basically a uh, um, 5x4 little compound. Why 5x4 or 5x6 is because on a personal claim, the largest it can go is 10x10, 10 10, and you want the entire claim covered. So if you're going to do a personal claim, you really need to keep it small. So that way you can plant trees around it that will help hide it, hide your personal claim, because um, it won't show up on the map. Um, but they will if people are running around at F4. Okay. And let's uh, remove this stump. Always uproot your stump. Now this is the Freeport claim here on the Yo server, our Yo server that we're on, Sanctuary. Um, and if you become a member, you can use it. So I would make the distinction is actually plant on this tile so the second tile down should be oaks the first tile should be softwoods and you can still grab and that tree should be clear yeah so it looks much clearer in there and let's check this trap is it chicken what quality is it 68 now this is interesting i don't know why this is like that so what i'm going to do is lower this ground what I recommend is have a, a saw, a spade, a hammer, and an axe. All right, uh, let's lower this one more time. It's got forest soil on it, so I'm taking up. Ooh, it has some ore somehow. I don't know how that happened. Some ore <laughs> slipped down in there. So I'm going to put 34 forest soil, and then what I'm going to do is going to come down to um, artisan, flattened ground. Um, and get that nice and flat. Now this is a uh, basically you can't get up here. See look at that, right? Ideally you want the entire compound like that, um, so you can't get up at except for an earth gate, which I'll talk about later, uh, which is breaking a tile. So you when you're working here, you have a piece of uh, this tile will always be open, so you can get up in here, okay? And then what you can do is uh, lock it. Right, so what I need to do is pick up this wood, and I'm going to talk about what I'm, as I said before, why I am stacking this wood. And, it, and the reason for this is you can basically level up your carpentry really quick. So let's plant another one, drop another one, lift that up here, let's move that over here. Whoops, there you go, right there is where I want it place. So now I can actually get up here, right? I'm up here. Come on, don't fall off. Yeah, this is actually that would have been fine. So in first person view, I'm going to ah, it fell off. It wasn't quite placed right. You know, it's all a this is a this is an art form. I wanted it to drop, it didn't drop. So let's lift our object again. Let's try again. Let's place it. Let's lift it up. Let's get it over more, okay? Not that way. That way, okay. 
place. I want it to fall in that hole right there. Better. Okay, so this is hardwood bullets for the kiln that I'm going to build, right? And he wants to sit here and build a bunch of. So what you can actually do is, um, well, let's move over here, around here. I can right-click, saw out uh, billets. Okay, billets is for making charcoal. Okay, let's cancel that. All right. Then what I'm going to do is, is click on my little mouse clicker at three seconds, hit start, right click, and then what I'm going to do is just now I'm going to just saw all these. You actually may not need a mouse clicker for, uh, actually you will because when you saw through a log it's going to stop. So with the mouse clicker it's going to just saw through all these logs and I'm going to dump a bunch of charcoal and then in the next video, what I'm going to do is turn this charcoal, all these, these hard billets, either into arrows. Actually, that's what I'm going to do, is I'll make arrows. Um, and I'll show you. Through that. Thanks for watching. My name is Sun Tzu. I am on the council, I'm one of the founders of Freeport. Anyone can become part of Freeport. Anyone can uh, launch the server um, on the Freeport guild on it. Let's see, if I hit stop, it's going to start. That's the mouse clicker, right? I don't want to, I want to stop. <laughs> it keeps going. Uh, you, you can't play this game, in my opinion, without a mouse clicker. All right. And uh, ultimately, um, it is um, um, my goal to encourage folks to launch and become part of Freeport and launch their own. We are a non guild, we are a merchant co cooperative. We want to create a large um, eco economy on Life is Feudal and other games and other servers. Um, you can join our Steam page from the link below. Um, you can uh, join our Discord and talk to me more about it, and I can share you. I'm going to be sharing videos on Holacracy. Holacracy is a decentralized uh, management system for um, um, uh, for uh, basically uh, uh, government go governance. So we are pioneering the Magna Carta, which comes out 200 years later. So we're like the founders of Magna Carta, the merchant class and everything else. So, uh, and Holacracy allows us to allow anyone to basically launch and run their own uh, group. And we're all connected is, is um, in a way as is, is, uh, cells to the main organization. So thanks for watching and hope to see you in Life is Feudal Fun. Take care.